Inside the little white dress shop, it's Laura Hogan's final fitting. <laughs> in June, she'll walk down the aisle with her boyfriend of two and a half years. And we differ a lot in a lot of different areas, and we've worked through that. She says they've talked about the things marriage counselor Cheryl Ziegler says are so important. So money, sex, and kids. But they've done it on their own. If you're going to do counseling, it's something that you really have to buy into. We asked about it today following news that a California group is going to push a ballot measure in Colorado to require pre-marriage education classes before anyone gets married. I've seen proposals like this before. State Senator Pat Stedman says the marriage issue should focus on extending rights, not restricting them. I think it's putting government in the wrong role in terms of being involved in people's personal lives. The more education that we have, the better. But Ziegler says with the country's divorce rate inching up toward almost 60 percent, the proposal couldn't hurt. If anything negative were to come out of it, it might be that the couple realizes that they have a lot of incompatibilities and that they have choices to make now before they get married in terms of either fixing those things or really coming to the realization that they're not compatible. As for Hogan, despite no official pre-marriage counseling, she's confident she and her fiancé, a counselor himself, are ready. We took our time in terms of making a decision and when he asked, I didn't have to think about it at all, you know. It was just right.